we can join uh, Michael Arnold. Uh, he is from the TRT World Research Center. Hi, Michael. First, let me just get your impressions and, and what you make of uh, this latest development. Well, this is, uh, this is uh, indeed a big development. Uh, I think the Saudis, uh, they are at last trying to get ahead of the media cycle and the news cycle. They're trying to have their narrative straight uh, after uh, almost a year and a half of uh, obfuscation and uh, delays and all the, the tactics that they have been uh, employing. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think that this step is going to uh, play in their favor because uh, simply uh, the narrative has already been established and uh, uh, the fact that they haven't been truthful all, or, all, all, uh, all the time that has passed is undermining their credibility. So that's for one. For uh, the second, uh, the second uh, element of, of the story is that uh, tomorrow is, uh, there's going to be a big uh, prayer uh, in Istanbul. And uh, that means not just in Istanbul, but all over the world, the Islamic world. And I think the Saudi Arabia being, uh, having all that uh, uh, ideological, uh, they're trying to have this uh, ideological uh, portrayal of their country uh, as uh, the leader of the Islamic world. Uh, basically, uh, this, is, this, is, this has been an incredible hit for the, to their reputation, to the reputation of the Saudi state, to MBS in particular. Now people are seeing uh, them more like being brutal, repressive, uh, having okay. killed an innocent journalist. So uh, this, is, this is something that is uh, being also uh, uh, in consideration okay. here. Tarek Sharkawi, my apologies, we were given the wrong introduction. Tarek Sharkawi from TRT World Research Center, thank you for that.